It's been three years since a number of rhino sculptures appeared around Southampton as part of Marwell Wildlife's Go Rhinos project. Now it's time for their zebra counterparts to take centre stage with almost 150 set for a stampede through the city in the summer. With all the businesses and schools on board, the artists have begun the painstaking effort of bringing their designs to life. Our reporter Ben Treppers has more. In little over three months, Marwell's latest project to add a mix of colour and animal magic to Southampton will kick into action. A dazzle of zebras are set to stampede through the city, creating a trail of excitement for visitors and residents to enjoy. 47 businesses and over 100 schools have committed to the project, and now the artists are in residence bringing the herd together for their respective paint jobs. The project's manager, Kirsty, explains how support for the project will see the zany zebras outnumber their rhino predecessors. It's been fantastic. I mean, I think Go Rhinos was such a huge success that uh, when, when people realised what we were doing again, they couldn't wait to get back on board. So in terms of um, numbers of sculptures, we're, um, we've got over 50 more uh, to find out and about on the streets. So um, there'll be 47 large sculptures and 102 little ones. The Marlins shopping centre has become the decorating hub for the artists to realise their zebra designs. It provides a great opportunity for members of the public to watch the sculptures come to life and build the excitement for later in the summer. We've got about eight artists working down here at the moment. Some of them are closer finishing, some of them just beginning. Um, and over the next couple of weeks we're changing it around as new artists come in and, and do different designs as well. We'll be here until mid-May decorating them. Um, mid-May is the sort of cut-off date for uh, obviously the artists to be finished. So I suspect there'll be a few last minute uh, late nights to, to get them done. But uh, yeah, I'm confident they'll all be finished by 16th. One of the artists, Will, was also involved with the Go Rhinos campaign in 2013. Now, three years later, he's signed up for more. After submitting eight designs, he's had four of them picked up by businesses in the area, three of which he'll be creating using mosaics. He explained why such a method of artistry is the one for him. I've just got a particular passion for mosaics. There are a lot of painted zebras and a lot of painted sculptures, so doing something as a mosaic is going to be different. So I'll get my own design, but also uh, end up being able to do it in my own medium. Well, I, love to, I love doing it in mosaics. Make some really tactile as well. You know, it's just, just excellent. I just love it. I've just got a natural affinity with the tiles and, you know, just make the most of it. I think I've done about, me personally, this is about, I'm on about 85 hours now for this one and then plus I've probably had the equivalent of hours in volunteers because what I do is I offer opportunities for people to learn how to do mosaicing, they can get involved in the project, cut to the amount of hours for me down but it also means they get to learn a skill and take part in a pretty good project. His current design will provide an individual challenge within the trail to add an extra dimension to the zebra fun. But this particular design here, this is a, uh, this is, this is a, it's a crossword puzzle, so it's actually going to be an interactive puzzle and people will be able to pick up a set of clues and they'll be able to then fill in a blank zebra on their, on their clue form and just be able to do, do it as a, like a, little, a little challenge. The zebras will be on display from July 16th until September the 25th, before a farewell exhibition at the Aegeus Bowl in October when they'll be auctioned off. Ben Treppis for that Solent.